Pretend they terrorized and robbed store employees. Police have two of the suspects in custody, but they're looking for one more. Those robbers have hit businesses all over our area. Shannon Sims is live with the story. Shannon. Mike and Carol, this is an example of great police work. The two men who are behind bars here at the county jail had no idea that police were staking them out as they suited up, armed with guns, and headed into an auto supply store. And even though those two are arrested tonight, there's still one more on the loose. Surveillance video inside this advance auto parts on Teutonia Avenue shows three masked men storming through the doors back in April. At gunpoint, the clerk is ordered to unlock the safe while two others stand guard. Milwaukee police believe the trio is responsible for nearly a dozen business robberies since March. The target, mostly auto parts supply stores. Though in an attempted robbery back in March, a delivery driver at this Domino's was shot in the leg for not handing over his tips. But their crime spree would come to a screeching halt in an O'Reilly's on Silver Spring. Court documents say these two men, Deshay Lane and his partner, Jacques White, were under the watchful eye of police Friday night when they entered the auto parts store. Police say that the pair ran out the store, jumped in a car, and were later arrested after parking at a home on the northwest side of town. And while two suspected criminals are off the streets of Milwaukee, investigators are still looking for a third involved in the string of robberies. Now, that O'Reilly's that they hit on Friday, police say it was hit three other times. As far as talking to many of the people who were involved in these armed robberies, those, those clerks, they couldn't go on camera, but many say they were relieved to know that at least two of the three are now behind bars. Reporting in Milwaukee, Shannon Sims, today's TMJ4. A lot of crime solved. Thanks, Shannon.